Chinese President Xi Jinping opened China's first international import expo Monday morning with a landmark speech that underscores the country's pledge to open up its markets even more to foreign goods and services. As China celebrates its 40th anniversary of reform and opening up this year, the initiative to expand imports is not a makeshift but a long-term consideration of embracing the world and future. In his speech, President Xi Jinping said China's remarkable economic and social achievements over the past 40 years have strengthened his country's resolve to further reform and open up. Under the current world circumstances, he said, China is even more determined to support trade liberalization and economic globalization. China remains committed to pro-import policies as more quality products from overseas satisfy bigger spending habits and promote faster industrial development. A recent round of tariff reductions will help the nation transform. Many products displayed at the expo are subject to lower tariffs. Following China's decision to reduce rates on a total of 1,585 goods. Also, the country is taking solid steps to accelerate the opening up process of sectors, including finance, agriculture, education, and medical treatment. China has further simplified its negative list of foreign investment, reduced investment limits, and lifted the level of free investment. China's middle class is the largest in the world and still growing. Middle-income households and cities like Shanghai, where the expo is being held, are rapidly reshaping the global economy and trade. China has been the world's second largest importer of goods for nine consecutive years. 10.2 percent of global imports were sold to Chinese buyers last year alone. Its imported goods and services are estimated to exceed 30 trillion U.S. dollars and 10 trillion U.S. dollars, respectively, in the next 15 years. At the CIIE, representatives from more than 3,000 companies in more than 130 countries and regions are pitching over 5,000 high-quality products to China's vast market of nearly 1.4 billion people. The Import Expo promises to propel the country's transition even further, from being the world's factory to the world's biggest consumer that is more accessible to the outside world. And China's decided to give better play to the important role of Shanghai and other regions in opening up. The country has mapped out a series of plans, including expanding the Shanghai Free Trade Zone, cementing the city's position as an international financial center and hub of science and innovation, and making it a national strategy to develop the Yangtze River Delta region. China's new development concept is focused on high-quality growth. Experts say more imports will help motivate domestic companies to innovate and compete in an increasingly global marketplace as China continues to champion globalization, multilateralism, and free trade.